G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to TriCraft. And uh, we're currently at Spawn looking at the amazing build that Mama's done. Isn't it absolutely awesome? Lots and lots of sandstone. And uh, you know what? I even helped. Yes, I did. I helped a lot. I put down one block. But shh, that counts as helping. Doesn't that count as helping, Scousy? It doesn't mate, no. Not it doesn't Mama, count stop shaking all. your head. Um it, it helped a little bit. <laughs> but uh Although yeah, so that so, was exactly my plan. Just yeah, put one block and then take the credit. Indeed. So this this is a community build from the three of us. Um Scouse and I have contributed. Uh we put down a block apiece and uh Mama's done the rest, which is only fair. So right, let's go and have a quick squeeze. What are you doing there, Mama? Uh, I'm doing the portal template for Scouse. Right. You couldn't make it any bigger? <laughs> That's not very big. Look at the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what Mama's been building is... Can you guess what it is? It's... Oh, it's raining. It's pouring. Gobs not snoring. Um, so I'll jump up to the top here. And we are looking down, and like, because our world is sand, sand, and more sand, um, we're building a pyramid to go with the theme. Well, I should say, Mum is building a pyramid, and Scouse and I are just taking credit. Um, but if you have a look at the outline of it, this is huge. Absolutely huge. And Mama said that she's going to have it finished by tomorrow for you. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like putting me on the spot. <laughs> Surprised it'll take about long, to be honest. Well, she said she wanted to go and do a few other things as well. So, um, but it's it's looking absolutely unbelievable. I think Mama has done an epic, epic job, and I really like the uh, the slight touch of colour that uh, has gone into it as well. Um, so this is where our spawn's going to be. We're in planning to put a few things here that uh, will be uh, community use that uh, won't necessarily be back at Tritown. Um, oh, sorry, that's what we're calling our little home base at the moment, Tritown. Yes, spoiled um, alert. Yes, my apologies. Uh, but uh, Gabby. yes, Gabby. what? Yes. Is this big enough? <laughs> uh, Mum is currently building um, a new location for our portal for spawn and uh, it will be facing the pyramid and let's see what uh, she's come up with oh my goodness that is epic yep mama doesn't do things small by any means and that is going to look amazing and uh, we've both agreed mama and I we had a vote and it was unanimous between the two of us that Scouse is our portal man so he is going to be doing the new portal and moving it and making it all that fancy Sounds good. If if you want a big one, I've got I've got no problem making a big huge portal. Oh, Mama's uh, done a reasonable size one. Now I'm going to build. I outlined it for you, Scouse. Okay, I'm not actually at spawn, by the way, people. I'm still at Tritown. They've ditched me. Yes, yes. Uh, he hasn't bathed in a few days, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So. Uh... Uh, we're trying to be subtle about it, so please don't mention anything. But if you'd like to put in the comments below uh, uh, what you think about uh, Scouse's personal hygiene, please feel free. Um, okay, so <laughs> what uh, I'm planning to do uh, today and probably in the next couple of episodes is build the Tryon here at Spawn. And by Tryon, I'm talking about the Tricraft iron farm because uh, we wanted it spawned so that it's continually churning out uh, iron for us to use actually for me to use because if I build it it's mine and no one else can use it ha 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 um, so I'll put it yeah, in good luck with that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, we've already worked out that anything is communal at the moment because when you're not logged on everyone just comes and raids your stuff yeah, thanks for the carrots earlier on, by the way. <laughs> no problem <clears throat> at all, mate. Uh, yeah, so I'll be putting the iron farm inside the pyramid. Do you reckon we'll have enough room in here? I'm thinking I probably will. I, and I didn't bring anywhere near enough scaffolding, but there you go. Um, so I'll just gather some more supplies, and I shall be right back. So I've now got enough supplies, and it's time to start building. Now... The design I'm going to go for here is one 
by a YouTuber called Wattles and I'll put a link uh, to his um, tutorial in the description. Now I'm not going to make a massive iron farm. Like there's just at this stage, just the three of us, we're not greedy, we just want um, some iron. You know, and if it's here at spawn, it's just going to continually operate. So, you know what? We'll get plenty. So, it's just going to be a modest uh, little affair. And if we need to, we can always make it bigger later on. So, what I'm building now is the pod where I'll put our zombie when we uh, finally capture one. what I want is just a, a little hole that the zombie can sit in and spend the rest of his undead days in. And there we go, a little home away from home from our zombird. I don't need that one, don't need that one, don't need that one. And I don't need that one. Now, how am I going to get the zombie up there? Well, I'm going to try and lure a zombie up a rail system. So let's build that now. Okay, where is it lined up through there? Okay, so I've got my little track system. Now, I need to put down my tracks. And there we go. And just in time for dark. Go and get our rail, uh, sorry, our minecart. Have a name tag, always make sure you get a name tag ready when you're down to do this. And now we go hunting for a zombie. Here zombie 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 Here zombie 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 where are you? Where can you be? Okay, well I'll uh, bring you back when I actually find something. Right, I might have a candidate. Are you a Zombert? Yeah, you're a Zombert. You're even a zombie villager. <sighs> Come on, get in the minecart. <sighs> there we go. Oops. Don't want you. Come on, get along there. No one's sneaking up on me? No. Okay. Oh, now they're all coming out of the woodworks. Right, let's go and take care of my Mr. Zombird up here before we do anything else. Hmm. 
Where are you? Oh, there you are, Zombert. You didn't quite make it. Come on. Why didn't you make it all the way? Do you not have enough power? Hmm, huh, that's odd. Put my track back. Ah. There we go. Mr. Zombert's now in my little hidey hole. I'll just put a roof over him so he doesn't die when the sun comes out. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give him a name tag. Scary Z Man. There you go, Mr. Scary Z Man. And that is phase one of the Iron Farm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to go kill some things. Well, that was a rather eventful night. Got myself a Zombert and bagged a, a little bit of loot. I'll just go and put that away so I'm not carting it around and I'll be back with you shortly. Now that we've uh, got a Zombird up there, time to dismantle a little track system. And uh, once I've done that, I'll be right back. Okay, time to start building. We want to go up this one. Rawr. Rawr. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build the spawning platform for our golems. We want to go out five on each side from this block. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we want to go six out the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here, we want to go four out from here. One, two, three, four, but lose that one. And we end up with something like this. Now that we've made this platform, it's time to fill it up. And we don't actually need these ones anymore. Have I got rid of that one? Yes, I have. I'll fill this up and I'll be right back. So we've finished our spawning platform. What we need to do now is just enclose it with a fence, which is what we need to use to stop the water from flowing out the edges. And we'll just do that. There you go. One spawning platform. Just put a little bit of light up here. Might make it a little bit prettier later on. And there you go. Looking pretty good, isn't it? What we need to do now is start building the pods underneath for the villagers. Ah! Uh, OK, 
going to do that is extend this out. Uh, I'm not going to be high enough up. Typical, isn't it? I ended up not where I wanted. That's fine. We'll make it work. Can I get one out here? Yes, I can. Okay, one, two... We want this pod to be three long, and the reason it's three long is so it's got enough space for a bed and a villager to stand. Okay, I want to put that there, just temporary. Bring the pod out this way. Hello, Mr. Creeper. We don't need those there anymore. And we'll just finish these walls. Now, I'm not going to do that one just yet because I want to allow enough space to bring our villagers in. Don't need that one. And there we go. One completed pod. I'll go and finish the rest and I'll be back after dispatching the creeper. Now I know you're not going to believe that I did something wrong, but I did. Um, in this very first pod, I put glass here. We actually want it on the next layer up. So I'll just fix that now. And take out the middle layer. Right, and it looks something like that. One other thing we need to do is we want to put some slab blocks just here. It stops the villagers from getting up there and stops the zombie from doing the same. I'll just go and do that around all the edges. And that's what it looks like so far. The next thing we want to do is build the chamber for the golems to drop down into. And it's going to be at the front here facing the, uh, the entrance to the pyramid. I'll just go and do that and I shall be right back. So we've now got our villagers ready to be put into the iron farm. They're going to end up living up there and it's going to be a nice friendly location. Yes, it will. I actually probably won't. And I do have to thank Mama Bear for helping me to get these guys here. It was a uh, long, hard row from Spawn. Uh, from, not from Spawn, from Tritown. But we got here. Okay, so the tricky bit is now trying to encourage him to come upstairs. Oh, you're coming up, mate. Where are you going? Hmm. Going over here. There you go. Off you go. Good lad. In you go. In there. Come on. Look, it's a nice bed. It is, it's a nice bed. Just because it's got a zombird. Yes, that's your now workstation. You go in there. Come on. There we go. Good lad. Hey, look who that is. I see you, Mama. Ah. 
a good team. Okay, so maybe the workstation's in the wrong location. You be the smoker, dude. Uh. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs>
There we go. That was our first golem. And let's wait for the next one. Okay, well that's all we've got time for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a comment and smack it a like. If you really liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to me and the other Tri-Crafters. Check out Waddle's um, uh, tutorial on how to build this. And as this golem falls off into the background, it's time for me to say, Hooroo! And hooroo to you, Mr. Golem.